Just a quick disclaimer, anything that I might say in this video is not a definite thing in the game. This is still a playtest and everything and anything might still change, including any material that I might show on the screen. So you're wondering about deadlock, I see. So you want me to spill the beans, I see. Well, fine. Fine, I'll do it. So I've played Deadlock for about 10 hours now, which means I'm still kind of at the beginning stages of the game, but I already formed kind of an opinion of what the game actually is, how you can expect it to be, and what the future of this game might hold, believe it or not. Overall, my thoughts of the game are, it's something else. And this is something that I've, that I've told some friends of mine as well. The game feels hyper familiar because it has aspects of like Dota and you know, that strategizing kind of lane style of gameplay, but it also has shooter mechanics, which does feel familiar in another way, you know, a lot like Paladins or Overwatch or something like that. So it does feel very, very familiar, but the whole premise of the game is something new, like something entirely new. And this is something that I really 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 value because games nowadays they don't like doing something new everybody's just copying each other like i've seen at least six games released in the last i don't know month maybe two months and it's the same game like everybody just creates the same damn game just uses unreal engine the same graphics the same gameplay the same premise of the game everything feels exactly the same but not with deadlock this game is different it makes you feel like you need to achieve something it locks you in a match for about, I want to say half an hour, depending on how fast the match is going. Like you can compare it to something like a Dota match, how long that will take to finish one normal, you know, Dota match. I don't, I don't know the game mode, so it's, it's something that I can't really compare it to. I don't really play Dota, okay? It's just not my style of game. I like League. League, League of Legends was cool. The game, it feels different in a sense of they're innovating to already kind of saturate the genres which one is a valve game already dota and the other one is obviously not a valve game or the few that they're working on i mean it's kind of i, I don't want to say like overwatch and paladin it's more like they're taking all their games and putting it into one like team fortress 2 in dota it's it, those games like even the graphical style. I don't want to give you guys too much information to a point where they're going to like ban me from the playtest because I obviously want to do a lot more testing and a lot more playing overall because it's a fun game. But I'll, I'll try to see what I can worm my way in there. So subscribe to the channel if you actually want to know more of this game and other similar games and other games overall. So yeah, just subscribe. That's, that's kind of the whole point here, right? So Deadlock, it is... As you have seen by the leaks, I mean, there's obviously leaks all over the place. It's a 6v6 lane shooter type situation, third person shooter game. You have different characters with different abilities. I'm not going to go into exactly what those abilities are and who the characters are, because that's obviously going to change quite a lot. It is a playtest at the end of the day. It's not even like beta. It's like pretty, pretty, <laughs> you know, it's, it's very limited at the moment. And you have the like creep style gameplay of dota and league of legends you have your like tower defense type situation but it's not towers it's something else you have different you know characters playing against each other you have abilities you can upgrade you have a shop where you can buy different i want to say upgrades you have all those mechanics jammed into one so yeah there's going to be a learning curve that's the first thing that i really can guarantee you there is a learning curve to the game luckily they make it quite easy if you go into the main menu of the game there's already a section telling you how to play you can just click on that go through as like a tutorial type thing i haven't tried it myself but um i have friends who have so that's just a tutorial type thing it does show you kind of how everything works so you don't really have to worry and they make it a little bit easier for newer players to a sense where the i want to say ingredients that you can buy for upgrades there's sections already that says it's the beginning stages of the game, mid stages of the game and later stages of the game. And you can just go through that. You don't have to do it individually, but as you learn the game, you're probably going to be able to do all those types of stuff individually. Next, I want to talk about how difficult the game actually is. Like it is difficult, but it's not impossible. There are still characters that, that seem to be really overpowered, but I've also seen that it depends on who plays with those types of characters. Like I've played with this specific character and I got my ass handed to me. And then somebody else played with the same character and I just got 
my ass handed to me. So it's, you know, it depends on who's playing with what character and what you feel comfortable with and how well you can adapt to a certain character's playstyle. So there's going to be pros and cons with different characters that's fine i mean it is normal the creeps itself they're not really that hard to destroy they're kind of doing their own thing like they do damage but it's not like you can be level one i'm, I'm saying level one i don't think there's like actual level it doesn't really work like that it's more of a case of how much money you have gotten or how much currency in the game you have gotten per match and that's how the levels are kind of worked out the creeps on the other hand they're not really anything special Either you got your healer creeps and then you have the, like the rest of the infantry if you want to call it that and that is basically it you destroy them pretty quickly headshots i think do more damage as far as i could see like critical hit damage you have special ability damage and you have physical damage you they kind of utilize some of the, some sort of like a melee system as well where you can parry and melee so that's kind of cool uh, it's not some weird button like v or something for melee it's more like i think you press q or something at the moment it might change let's move on to the fact that you can actually play this game right now even though it's still in like a very closed play test it's not impossible to play the game you just need to have anybody on your friends list that has the game installed and then you can just ask them to invite you because there's a dedicated button in the main menu for inviting friends on your steam friends list so if you want to just play the game ask a friend that already has the playtest you should probably be able to see if they have played the game before or if they are playing the game or you can just ask anybody you know either way if they have the game they can just invite you and you basically instantly get access to the like playtest so it's not something really top secret anymore i think it's probably because of all the leaks and stuff of, of the game so you can just you know play the game yourself and kind of get a feel of what's going on and then the last thing is servers i am from south africa so i am not playing on south african servers which means there's a very limited amount of servers at the moment they have specific times that are doing play tests so I think they have a very specific or limited number of servers in specific locations. Now my ping has been around 190 to 210. So I'm guessing all the servers at the moment are probably currently in Europe or maybe even some of them in America. So the servers are very, very limited. I am pretty sure though that there are going to be like a lot more servers. This is Valve and every Valve game as far as I'm concerned has South African servers as well as basically everywhere around the world. So. I don't think you need to really worry about that or care about that because that is probably going to be something that should be widely available to you as a player. As for any like really negatives of the game, I don't really feel like there are much. Like there's kind of a learning curve. That's that's about it. Some of the characters are a bit broken at the moment, but I'm pretty sure that's going to get fixed. That's the reason for this playtest after all. So there's not like a lot really wrong with the game. I mean, it's not everybody's style of game, I guess, but that's it. Like if I find anything brokenly wrong with the game, I would kind of give you guys an indication. But apart from that, I don't think there's anything crazy. One extra thing that I kind of completely forgot to mention is the fact that there's like at the moment, at least some sort of like mid bosses and creeps inside of the tunnels and stuff which you can also fight to gain xp or money or whatever to level your character up so that, that that's also like a dota ish esque situation where you have like mid bosses and stuff like that just just to keep that in mind in any case if you guys enjoyed this video i know it's just like a discussion video and that i'm not showing you anything actually at all it's because i'm not allowed to and if i do they're gonna ban me from the playtest so as soon as I can actually show you guys like any concrete material, I have already recorded a bunch of stuff. I'm just waiting for the, you know, go ahead to actually post that stuff. So yeah, if you, if you guys enjoyed this video, just slap a like on this video just to show me your appreciation and comment down below if you have access to this playtest. If you actually do, just let me know what you actually think of the game. Right. That being said, really hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe, like, and I've got one question for all of you. Do you? Wanna play?